I did a Zoom show. Do you do you want to talk yeah, about that? Yeah, I, I do. What is your general feeling on Zoom shows? I think that they're kind of ridiculous. Tell me all of the reasons why you think I that. can't imagine being a comedian and sitting in your own house telling jokes. Mm-hmm. Like, do you hear people laughing in the background? I didn't watch it I either. do this podcast with you and you don't laugh at jack shit. I, <laughs> I laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> very creepy um i might have found the only button that's never gonna come off yeah anyway Um, your thoughts i don't know i i can't imagine being you like sitting there and telling jokes to a room full of people that aren't really there Hmm. in this case the people were really there i was at my house looking into my computer Mm -hmm. surrounded by no one Mm -hmm. And then the show took place at a dispensary where all of the bud tenders, as it were, hung out and watched the comedians on a laptop in a room. So the audience was, there was an audience of like <sighs> nine people socially distanced in a room with masks on. That's so weird. It is weird. Excuse me. That was a burp. I wanted to make sure the burp was all the way out before I kept. Yeah. Um. So... Let's go over the pros and cons. Okay. Even just waiting, watching other people waiting for my turn to go up felt like something I had missed. Okay. Okay. Having to be somewhere to tell jokes at a certain time felt like a show. Right. That's a hashtag that's, yawn from Zoya. That's, which, which just, I, how long have we been together? Eight years? Nine years? Mm-hmm. That's when it ends. That's when you thinking that I'm interesting ends. Just no so, way. if anyone out there is in a relationship, eight, nine year mark, it's all yawns from Went here to on sleep out. late, yeah. was up That's early. <laughs> over and over again. This is you every episode. That's exactly what it sounds like. That's how many yawns <laughs> every fucking episode. <laughs> Anywho. So, so you, you, it was nice to tell jokes and to, to be able to tweak those jokes based on the response or lack thereof of those seven masked people that I did them to. Was it though, because I didn't watch it, but did they, were they responsive? Like, did you hear them laughing? Did Sometimes, you have like, a, yes, like were, an applause ba- break? Or I like, don't think there was an applause Was it break. just like a, like a quietly like, ah, oh, funny, you know, just Have like you ever sat smiling. in a room? far apart from eight other people and clapped at something you saw on a laptop no so there's no room I'm for applause saying, breaks like, really and i'm just saying which is what a conversation okay. is back and forth All right. Rude. and uh but everything else other than the saying the jokes and because some it's like discord or it's like fucking facetime it's yeah. like sometimes you say something and you miss the end of it right or you tag something real quick, spur of the moment, mm-hmm. but they can't hear it because some of the audio cancels out when right. somebody else is talking. And that is the absolute worst part of it. Mm-hmm. Because Zoom shows exist because there is a hole where performing comedy was. And it is, it's like a... It's like fixing the hole in the dam with a piece of bubble gum, like um, Vegas Vacation, National Lampoon's mm-hmm. Vegas Vacation. Mm-hmm. And so it does kind of take the place of how a show feels a little bit in mm-hmm. practice. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm happy that I, I did it because I did get to just say jokes out loud to people who aren't you and see how they react to most of them, even if they didn't hear all of them. Right. And uh, I guess it was a little educational. I can't imagine anyone had an unbelievable time that they'll talk about for the rest of their lives. But I, I miss stand up very much, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I want to do it in front of real people because it's a very simple thing. Stand up mm-hmm. is just there's a group of people who want to laugh, and there's somebody with a thing that makes their voice louder, and that's right. it. Right. And then when you include the internet and laptops and masks and social distancing, it may, it is very convoluted. 
and and shitty. Yeah, I mean, suppose it's better than absolutely nothing. <laughs> what? Just all the mouth noises. Let me today. catch I a hear... spit as it comes out. Yeah. It's right? just like a lot of mouth noises today, and I'm noticing them more than ever. Can I catch a spit? All right. Yeah, I mean, would you do another Zoom show? Yeah, probably for the same reason. But yeah. it's like, let's say I went up and I did seven minutes somewhere mm-hmm. in front of 30 real people. Mm-hmm. And I was like, there's, you know, it's my first show of three of one night. Mm-hmm. I'll go out and I'll say all new things and I'll I'll tweak whatever works or whatever doesn't work mm-hmm. for the next show. Right. And then I'll do that again for the next show. Yeah. What happened to you just I'm now? having like a, a weird sharp pain right here. Uh-oh. Yeah. What if your jaw falls off like the, it might. Like the bride from Beetlejuice? Might. Yeah. You can go back and watch just the movie. The That's the exact sound yeah. she makes. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would do it, but it's like uh, the speed of fixing the joke goes from like 90 miles per hour to like 25 miles per hour. Right. So it's like, would you, we can go to Palm Springs and we could walk there. That would suck. We could not go, which is the safest. Yeah. Or we could drive 25 miles an hour there. That's a Zoom show. Yeah. So we could still go, but it's it's going to be slow going. Yeah. And there's no AC. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. I mean. Would you do a Zoom show? Probably not. I would I watch commend, it. I, I know you would. I, I commend you for, for doing it. I know a lot of people have done it. But I can't imagine that it's fun or like uh, this incredibly like prolific thing, you, you know? know? It's like the most, um, most of the time, mm-hmm. if you can't do something and you substitute it with some something else, you'll hear a lot of people say it's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. And I haven't come to the conclusion. A lot of comedians won't do them. Mm-hmm. And then I was thinking about how my thing was that I won't do because I did two when it first started and I just hated it. Yeah. And at no fault, again, I'm glad they exist. I'm glad that people are having fun doing them. I personally just didn't like it. It has nothing right. to do with anybody else. Right. And then as the months go on and there's just fucking like no end in sight mm-hmm. and you never, there's no real feasible alternatives. You're like, well, what am I going to do? Just fucking not do stand up at all yeah for a year yeah and it is like a muscle it's like if you're if you're in pretty good shape and then the you know the uh cdc tells you you straight up can't do exercises for a year yeah you're gonna look different and i don't want to regress right you know i'm trying to get i was in a position where i was getting better all the time all of us in this in this city who are at it all the time. Mm-hmm. Getting better all the time. Same right. thing with New York. Same thing right. anywhere you could do it on a consistent basis. Right. And now the, that we can't, I just don't want to get worse. Right. Have you talked to Jimmy the Magician about it? No, because he's in a different line of work. Mm. Jimmy the Magician. Magician.